Hi, it's me, a friendly neighborhood alien, stranded here on the third rock from the sun. And I'm playing Dragon Age 2, and I'm trying, still trying to figure out what I want to do, because uh, when playing, um, when, when, when playing Pokemon on Thursday, I hit 50 followers on Twitch, I feel I need to do something, but I don't know what. I'm still trying to figure that out. It's like, I, I, I don't know what I want to do. So, um, yeah. So, I'm just going to play some Dragon Age 2 today. And if there's something else I want to do later on, I, I may do it. I don't know. That's what I'm going to do. It's just lighting. Okay, it's just lighting. Yeah, it's just lighting. Okay. Because here's my hawk. Still using elves. Okay, so. First thing I want to do. Is get the mod armor on. Because I am playing an elf, as you can see. And... I want to... Okay, I haven't done that there. I want decent looking armor. So I have mod that I used this last playthrough too. Okay. So I've called the wolf armor in now. I have another mod, too, that I'm definitely going to be using. But let me put my good armor on, because I want my good mod armor on. There we go. But you can see I used this in my previews. My skin tone's not that dark, but I'm okay with that. I just want something that kind of fits with the elf. Mod. Okay, what was I doing? I was looking for stuff, if I remember correctly. I, 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 I was looting. I was looting because I need money. That's the way out. I'll use that to get to Dark Town. Good day. All that sun and its, its hairs. Yeah, we could. You know, maybe maybe start treating elves better. I mean, he's a stupid chem. Lowtown is home to a squalid elven alienage. Here, like in most of Thade's alienages, elves are packed into tiny, run-down apartments and effectively segregated from the human population. Ugh. Kirkwall's alien is even more dilapidated than the rest of Lowtown, but the elves go to great lengths to keep the place looking bright and festive. The Venadal, Tree of the People, standing in the middle of the alienage is a symbol for elven pride and shared cultural identity, and it is lovingly cared for. It's difficult to say if the elves would continue confining themselves to the alienage if they were given the chance to mingle. They may not admit it, but some feel that living among their kind is far better than living with the sham, I mean humans, no matter how terrible alienage life may be. From In Pursuit of Knowledge, The Travels of a Chantry Scholar, by Brother Jenna TV. Met him in the last game. Oh, somebody's missing their trousers. Why would you stick your torn trousers in there? Not... Hi, guys. Can I join you? Can I, can I join you three? 
probably picking picking on me. Okay. They have always been alien it is. They have been around for as long as elves and shems have lived in the same lands. Ours isn't even the worst. They sell that, say that Val Rayo has 10,000 elves living in a space no bigger than Denerim's market. Oh, that's tiny. That's not bad, but yeah, it's still pretty bad. Their walls are supposedly so high that daylight doesn't even reach a Venadal until midday. But don't have to be so anxious to start tearing down the walls and picking fights with the guards. They keep out more than they keep in. We don't have to live here, you know. Sometimes the family gets a good break and they buy a house in the docks. Or the outskirts of town. If they're lucky, they come back to the island after the looters have burned their house down. The unlucky ones just go to the pauper's fields. Here, we're among family. We look out for each other. Here, we do what we can to remember the old ways. The flat ears who have gone out there, they're stuck. They'll never be human. And they've gone and thrown away being elven, too. So where does that leave them? Nowhere. Sarathia. Haren of the High Ever Alienage. High Ever. Not even the Kirkwall Alienage. Can get their Haren to do anything. Okay. Have I fought those thing guys yet? No, I haven't. I've been down here. Right? Yeah, I've been down here. So just time to go beat some people up. What? I guess I did work with Red Iron. That's like, huh? What? Talking to me? I, know, I gotta go into the Hanged Man. I don't want to go into the Hanged Man yet. I am shoving off. Oh, don't worry, I'm not going to step any closer. Not any closer. Don't worry. I'm just seeing if there's any loot. Just trying to go home. Okay, let's take care of some correspondence. Mirren, you are a pain in the ass to deal with, but a bloody talented one. If you get sick of being just another unemployed refugee in this shithole, maybe we can grab a drink. If there's any odd jobs my boys can't handle, we'll send them your way. Greetings. You do not know who I am, but I have heard of you. I understand you might need some items for my collection, as well as the means to obtain them. I do not extend this invitation to anyone. But you are not simply anyone, are you? No, I'm the player character. Consider this an invitation to the Black Emporium. Enclosed are directions through the passages underneath the city, as is a charm to enter. If you give the charm to another, its permission will be immediately revoked. And the consequences will be... Unpleasant. Adieu. Xenon. They're playing back there in the kennel. Okay, and in case you didn't go to the Chanter's board. To whomever likes to participate in the charitable deed of assisting the Vale family of Starkhaven. His most worthy highness, Prince Sebastian Vale, has provided instructions for anyone brave and noble enough to attempt the eradication of the rabble who dared attack his family. Three groups of Flint's company mercenaries have been sighted in the Kirkwall vicinity. 
One group makes its camp not far from the elves of the Center Mount mountain range. The second has been seeking information on the docks after nightfall. The third is far from the main road off the wounded coast. They are believed to have a small campsite well past any known landmarks. A princely reward awaits whoever finds and defeats these, all these rogues. May the maker, maker guide you. Chanta Talathia. Talatha. Okay. I'm gonna name a puppy. What's up, buddy? City lights are not agreeing. Poor thing. Maybe he'd be happier if you brought him with us more often. Well, if he's with us, who keeps Jamlin's debt collectors away? Take it. I'm sick of watching they caring and fancying. <laughs> They're playing back there. It's awake time for them. Okay. Got a lot of people to talk to, so... That's my ordering potions. It's the writing desk. Let's get into storage. Okay, so... I need weapons. <sighs> I'll give you that one. That's a great sword. Okay. Mm. Okay. Um, I'm not going to risk any of those because of the mod. But I will take anything for anybody I have right now. Okay. Go double check. Okay. Okay, inventory. Starting my group together. I'll talk to people soon. Now, you must not be under the misimpression that magic is all powerful. There are limits, and not even the greatest mages may overcome them. No one, for instance, has found any means of traveling, either over great distances or small ones, beyond putting one foot in front of the other. The immutable nature of the physical world prevents this. So no, you may not go simply pop over to Minrathis and borrow a cup of sugar, nor may you magic the essay you forgot in the apprentice stor in the apprentice dormitory to your desk. You'll simply have to be prepared. Similarly, even when you send your mind into the fade, your body remains behind. Only once has this barrier been overcome, and repeatedly the spell required two thirds of the lyrium in the Tementor Imperium, as well as the lifeblood of several hundred slaves. Which would have been elves. Ugh. The results were utterly disastrous. Finally, life is finite. A truly great healer may bring someone back from the very precipice. 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 Of death. When breath and heartbeat have ceased, but the spirit still clings to life. 
But once the spirit has fled the body, brain death, it cannot be recalled. That is no failing of your skills or power. It is simply reality or simple reality. From the lectures of First Enchanter, Wenceslas. What's in my special little Larry's chest? Okay. I'm not going to take all this. Actually, you know what? Screw it. Um, take all. And I got five gold. Five sovereigns. Okay. So. Oh, I got plenty of stuff now. Awesome. I'm gonna go with the Ivo family crest. I'm gonna go with an air of confidence. Ooh, but I want better equipment. No, I'm gonna go with the Hog Family Crest there. Any belt. I'll go with that one. Okay, those will be my, my, my equipment there. I've got armor, which I'm good on. Um, I want to change my weapons. Okay. Come back and do the talking in a second. I'm just going to go right to Lowtown. Okay. Now I'll come right back in. But I want to make sure everybody's got at least decent weapons and equipment. The ones that are that first. Okay. So I need a ring and a belt. I'm going to put that, give her that one. And I'll give her hindsight. Uh, no, you know what? No. I have the irons. Can he have two rings? We'll give her that. She can keep her shield, though. That's Sir Wesley's shield. She, she keeps her shield. And I know I have something that's got stuff for Abilene. So 
The Chevalier's Banded Pride. Okay, so let's... Give her some regeneration. Okay. Now I'm going to put some stuff into safe storage. And then I want to talk to the family. I have no intention of selling any of that stuff. Okay, I can't just, uh... Nope, I can't. Okay. The rest can be sold. Mother. Hi, Mom. My children have been in servitude. Servitude for a year. They should be nobility. If wishes were popping, we'd all be dreaming. Oh. Wait, not a dream? You mean this is real? No wonder I can't wake up. And here I thought that Ferelda you ran off with was a maid, not a jester. Hey. Oh god, I'm so glad we dodged that bullet. I would not want to be related to the Delonces. So what did it say? No, why not? I know the Amels were nobility, but not much else. Why don't you ever talk about it? The Amels have been a noble family in Kirkwood since Garahan drove out before flight. We've always carried magic in our blood. It's been a stain on our lineage. No family really? would ever marry in Of course, they, they want to go outside now. So can we just let mom look at this? Please, Uncle. We have a right to see it for ourselves. Maybe so. But you won't be seeing the bloody thing. It's still locked up on the estate, and that's long out of my hands. You didn't take your parents' will. It was old news. You and I have been sitting here for 25 years waiting for Leander to slink back. Who bought the estate then? Perhaps I could speak to them. Was it the Reinhardts? No one you know. Get used to Lowtown, sister. That's where we're going to stay. No. Okay. I'm going to go deal with the puppies because they need to go outside now because they have the absolute worst timing. I should also turn that off. So, let me just turn... Whoops. Must have, must have pressed a button somewhere. Oh, yeah, that's... Yeah, when I was doing that, yeah. Yeah, I press a button. Sorry about the face. I press a button somewhere. Okay. I'm going to take a brief break to let the puppies out and maybe get them to go potty. See if they're going to go potty instead of just playing. And then I'll be right back. So, see you on the flip side. Okay, I am back. Oh, he seemed very slippery. Say, invested money that was meant to be mother's. Do you think he would tell us? No, he probably wouldn't. Gamlin can't say good morning without lying twice. Mother's been in such a fit of melancholy since Gamlin told her how angry her parents were about father. She told me 
she wishes she'd died with Karma. It's like coming here ruined every good memory of her childhood. I wish we could get some of it back. Well, we can try. This deep roads expedition comes through. We can buy her home back. Move to High Town. Scanlan told me he gave the estate as payment for some slaver who beat him with dice. Of course, a slaver. Yeah, not good. Scanlan couldn't have just sold himself and saved us all the trouble. <laughs> Can you just imagine him sweeping and scrubbing for some Vinter matriarch? Seriously, though, those scum have no right to our family things. We should break in now. Get the will for Mother. I already talked to both of them about this. Scanlan said they guard the front entrance well. We have Aveline. Well, then I know what we're doing. I'm heading to Dark Town. The guard captain should not be doing this. A couple things I have to do here first, though. And yeah, nobody called the guard, Captain. The guard, the guards are already on this. And he's just walking by all these dead bodies like there's nothing going on. Well, like, you shove off. You shove off. Sergeant. The thieves are gone, Guardsman. Did you say something? I didn't hear you. And clumsy me. I seem to have dropped a coin purse in your hand. <sighs> silly you. Some people are just very silly. They're very clumsy. Look, if I'm going to go, you know, get any uh, people of the evening, it ain't going to be from here. And it's not going to be from Darktown either. I'm going to go reclaim our birthright. I'm going to get the family well. <clears throat> I'm going to need it. Okay. I mean, that's what I'm wondering. I was doing good claiming a will. Whoops. Uh, Hawk. Tripped up by a lantern. Thank you for being discreet. I 
sure about your Templars at their door. No one does. Let them corral those troublemakers. I just want information. Right. Right. Sounds like I'm trying to convince myself, doesn't it? I wouldn't have said, but yes. Yeah. Hey, old buddy. Hi, huh? Gigabyte. Thanks for the lurk. They're going to try. I'm not a big poison person, so. Here's a recipe. My speciality. Everyone needs an edge sometimes, right? Okay. So I click on this. No offense, but I don't want to spend money. Not right now. As an outsider, I find that highly offensive. Uh, for good or ill, the Imperium has put a stamp on Thetis forever. The old Imperial Highway is still in use across most of Thetis. The ruins of Devinder fortresses and centers of magical study still litter our landscape long after the glory of the Imperium dimmed. But the influence of that ancient empire goes deeper than this. Without Tevinter, there would have been no Blight, no Andraste, no Chantry. Every other aspect of our world would be altered. The might and majesty of the Imperium may have faded, but it still makes its presence known, even in the most distant corners of Thetis. Every child has been brought up on stories of Tevinter as it is now, a decadent nation ruled by the Archon and his court of magisters, great and no doubt corrupt mage lords. Their chantry a mockery of our own, their black divine a man chosen from the ranks of them in Rath's circle of magi. The Maker's most hallowed law, magic exists to serve man and never rule over him, perverted. Mages in the Imperium say their most sacred duty is to serve man, and they serve best by wielding political power. And the worst, that which blessed Andraste must weep to see. All of it is built on a foundation of slavery. While most nations forbid the buying and selling of slaves within their own borders, unless they're low gain during um, the blight. Huh? What? Huh? 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 No, I'm not bitter about that. Nearly everyone ships their people to the Imperium for sale, skirting the prohibitions against such atrocities, and the feeding of the Imperium's endless hunger for bodies. To fight the Canari, to work the mines and quarries, to build the palaces of the magisters, and to sweep the crumbling streets and turn the middens and serve at the whim of their mage overseers. From Black City, Black Divine, a study of the Tevinter Imperium by Sister Patrine, Chantry Scholar. I should read the books. Codexes are very important. Whoa. Hi, man. Can you at least put some clothes on? Please? And get some hair? At least get paint on some eyebrows? Uh, Dark Town was once a mine controlled by the Deventer Imperium. Once exhausted, the mine shafts were extended onto the city to dispose of sewage from Kirkwall's overcrowded population of slaves. Surprisingly, the tunnels became a refuge uh, for those fleeing captivity. The captivity, bleh. A similar trend continues today. The Undercity, as some call it, is home to the diseased, the insane, the criminals, and even the dead. Unwanted corpses are all car Unwanted corpses are often discarded here by the murderers and lazy undertakers. Dark town slums make Low Town look pleasant in comparison. The foul miasma known as choke damp clogs and swells in every corner of the Dark Town creating a poisonous mist. 
Its sewers are a dangerous place. The walls are damp and slick and coated with phosphorescent lichen. The sewers are maze, and one foolish enough to enter is not likely to be hurt from again. In Pursuit of Knowledge, The Travels of a Chantry Scholar by Brother Genetivi, Denerim. Okay, we're going to go uh, do something very important. I want to see if they're like real models or fake sims. No, they seem to be pretty low res. How do you guys even get down here? Wow. Okay. Since flight came back off. I just wanted to see. I like going places I'm not supposed to. He looks hard to repeat. Not even that many. Well, let's put your arm in a sling and maybe, um... See if we can get set bones properly. Oh, yes, let's... It's not like we're breaking in to somebody's private abode. Uh, History of Kirkwall, Chapter 1. It's difficult for many to comprehend today, but there was a time when Kirkwall was believed to be the very edge of the world. It was Emerus then, named after the founder, its founder, Magister Emerus Craven. Makes sense. And it was built, but and it was but one outpost on the very fringe of the Tevinter Imperium. There, the Magister serfs worked the quarries for the jetstone needed for the mighty temples of Minrathis. After a slave rebellion nearly burned the temple to the ground in the great city, it was determined that a center for the slave trade would need to be established well away from the more civilized parts of the Imperium. Though this account may be exaggerated, since the notorious Archon Renarius Isar nearly escaped assassination at the hands of an elven slave at the time. Because the new slave outpost would become wealthy beyond imagining, competition among prospects reportedly took over 20 years to resolve. Wow. Resulting in great bloodshed on the frontier, well away from the Archon's eyes. Magister took arms against Magister, mostly in the form of small armies of serfs and mercenaries. Over half the slaves in existence allegedly died during these battles before Emerius was finally chosen thanks to the marriage of Craven's son to the Archon's daughter. I wonder how that was chosen. Within a mere decade, the mighty fortress was erected on the cliffs of Kirkwall, or cliffs where Kirkwall now stands. Over one million slaves passed through its gates before the Imperium eventually fell, an unimaginable number by today's standards. The Craven family itself became patron to the next three Archons and was one of the driving forces behind the extension of the Imperial Highway into the Ferelden Valley, a move that would cost them considerable political influence after the resistance of the Alamari tribes. During its height, 
Emerius was a jewel to rival the mightiest of the imperial cities and the greatest center of civilization outside Twinter. From Kirkwall, The City in Chains, by Brother Jenna TV, 924, Dragon. Okay. Come on. Oh, really? Yeah, we're not letting these slavers through. They're not that nice. It's truly sad what happened to the Amels, isn't it? I still remember Grandmother talking about the balls that Lord Aristru Aristu Aristide 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 that Lord Arist Aristide used to hold at their estate and the interior and and Teven violin players and dancer. My tongue's not working. And the dancers from F F Afsana. No expense was spared, and no one would dare miss it, lest someone think they weren't worthy of an invitation. And then poor Revka had that child, magical talent, running in one of Kirkwall's most prominent families. The Templars had considered Lord. Heiress died to be Viscount after Threnhold's arrest. Can you imagine the scandal had he been chosen? They wished the child away to the circle, and the Amel simply had no luck after that. Leander ran off with the Ferelden mage, and then Damien was accused of smuggling. Poor Lord Faustin almost bankrupted his family trying to get the charges dropped. But I hear Viscount Marlowe simply wanted the Amels out of the picture. That's not good. Well, we'll take care of that, won't we? Well, and it worked too, didn't it? By the time Lord Faustin got sick, there was only young Gamlin left and a mountain of debt. I spoke to Dulcie the other day, and apparently Gamlin is now living in some low-town shack. Sounds like the sort of character you'd cross the street to avoid. And let's not even talk about the estate. Mother says we should remember the Amels because that sort of thing could happen to any of us. You know the old saying, a marcher's fortune rises and falls with the tide. If you ask me, this is just another misfortune that magic brings to honest folk. Andraste helped that poor family. Whatever lies in store for them. Except from a letter written by Lady Amelie de Montfort. Oh, yes. And we will, eventually. But we did dodge the bullet by not being related to the Dilonces. I haven't heard any good things about them.
Too focused on them to avoid the trap. Gotta do better. Gotta get good. I hate that term. Oh, hi. Yeah, that's Varric's job. No offense, Varric. Kirkwall, Chapter 2. As the Imperium's borders slowly receded after the devastation of the First Blight and subsequent barbarian invasion, many outposts in the area, known today as the Free Marchers, were cut off from centers of power. Numerous warlords tried consolidating the region into a single kingdom, but resistance prevailed. Emerius held out for almost a century until it fell to a slave revolt in 25 Ancient. It was not the first such revolt Emerius suffered, but it was the last. It started when an Alamari slave named Raiden begin, began earning popularity and power by pushing for better conditions. Raiden's growing influence prevented the magisters from touching him, but eventually they had him poisoned. Furious, a group of Raiden supporters stormed the gallows and were massacred, and so began a bloody year-long rebellion. The city burned, and wealthy high town was sacked. The magisters hung before cheering crowds. Emerius was assumed, assumed the new name of Kirkwall, Kirk meaning black after its jet stone cliffs. The new city plunged into anarchy for over a decade, and its defenses fell into ruin. Kirkwall has been conquered many times since, and the city's own independence suffering since the freeing of its slaves. From Kirkwall, the City of Change by Brother Jenna TV and 924 Dragon. Okay. This is the room I need to go through. Actually, you guys over here. Whoops. That takes care of the slavers. Ah, the history of the circle. Let me get something to drink here first. It is a truth universally acknowledged that nothing is more successful at inspiring a person to mischief as being told not to do something. Unfortunately, the Chantry of the Divine Age has some trouble with obvious truths. Although it did not outlaw magic, quite the contrary, as the Chantry relied upon magic to kindle the eternal flame which burns in every brazier in, the chantry, in every Chantry. It relegated mages to lighting candles and lamps and perhaps occasional dusting of rafters and eaves. I will give my readers a moment to contemplate how well such a role satisfied the mages of the time. It's a surprise to absolutely no one when the mages of El Rayo, in protest, snuffed the sacred flames of the cathedral and barricaded themselves inside the choir loft. No one, that is, but Divine Ambrosia II, who was outraged and attempted to order an exalted march upon her own cathedral. Wow. 
Even her most devout Templars discouraged that idea. For 21 days, the fires remained unlit while negotiations were conducted, legend tells us, by shouting back and forth from the loft. I, I was done. Um, not the chantry. Circle. Circle, 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 circle. The mages went cheerily into exile in a remote fortress outside the capital where they could be kept under the watchful eye of the Templars and a council of their own elder magi. Outside of normal society and outside of the chantry, the mages would form their own close society, the Circle, separated for the first time in human history. From a fire, circles, and Templars. A History of Magic in the Chantry by Sister Petrine, Chantry Scholar. I'll take that. And any other loot that may be in this room. Slavers don't know what hit them. Out of curiosity, because the map extends. I'm curious. Uh, just like an invisible wall. This is it. Grandfather's will. Mother needs to see this as soon as possible. Not quite yet. I still want to look around. All right, but hurry. Okay. Okay, I'll turn the fly cam on. Oh, ho, ho. yeah, they did the full place. It's not quite the. Oh, but everything is in here. Ooh, this is nice. This is really nice. Ooh, balconies and everything. But they did render it. So that's nice. I was not expecting that. It's a nice place. Okay. I just can't use that door. I have to escape the other means. Trap door? Nope. Okay. Then we'll have to go down the way we came. Not a problem at all. There we go. It's like I know they use a lot of reset, as or you know, re, re um, reused assets in this game. So, I, I want to see how far they rendered. Okay, let's loot Dark Town. Okay. We'll do that one. Well, they really don't have a choice. They have no place else to go.
Don't know what they're here for, but... I'll take the death route. And I'll be back for you guys later. Okay, nothing here. I think it's like one of the DLCs has done something, bugs out something, so quests that shouldn't be around are, are, are around. There we go. I haven't been saying properly, so... Okay. Let's go to the Black Emporium. There's loot that I want. I'm not going to read all these. I won't. Box is screaming. I'm assuming all is here. Okay. Uh, sell all junk. That's true. I just want to see what's here. I mean, I'm not going to get anything. I want to keep what money I got. Okay. I'm just gonna try to match. Match the skin tones a little bit more. Hello. Uh, 
That's good. What about the golem? Hello, Thaddeus. Okay, get what I wanted. Okay. Now let's go back to Gamlin's house. I'm just saying, blood, blood, and all that which you are, taking advantage of my hospitality. Hospitality? Not be turning for rent. To my daughter Leandra and all children born of her. The estate in High Town and all associated revenues. I keep bringing mom. Check out the part where Gamblin has left only a stipend to be controlled by you. Gamblin, how could you? You're the one who ran away, Leandra. What happened to love is so much more important than money. It is. You didn't even come home for the funeral. The twins were a week old. We all have our burdens. Mine was looking after a life you abandoned. How long was I supposed to wait? I doubt you let the ashes get cold. I took care of father. I came. And on his deathbed, all he could talk about was Leandra. Look, sister, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done it, but I did. And there's nothing I can do to get it back. I don't expect that, Gamlin. It's enough to know mother and father didn't die angry. I'll petition the Viscount for rights to reclaim the estate. Make a willing. You'll have your house back within weeks. You don't have the coin or standing to even get an audience with the Viscount. You've got to be someone in this city to live in that house again. Then I had better get started. Yeah, and we, and we cleared it out of, um, flavor, so we, we should be good. Why don't you go pick up something at the market? You could use some air. What? Hey! I can't believe Gamlin stole Mother's entire inheritance. I mean, I can believe it. That's the worst part. I would never turn against you. Hey. Don't compare yourself to him. Well, hopefully we'll be out of here soon. You know, when we went to look for that will, I thought we were doing it for Mother, for what she lost. I didn't realize how much it would mean to me. To know I had grandparents who didn't hate me. I wish they had lived long enough to see us come home. Home. That's what it is, isn't it? I like saying that. Not running away again, but coming home. What do you think Carver would have made of all this? He would have hated this place. All the sneering nobles. He'd have gotten himself arrested the first day. Probably. And he would have wanted in on your deep rose expedition. Anything to make a name for himself. Sometimes I still can't believe he's gone. Neither can I. Are you unhappy here? I wish I could do more for Mother. 
We'll, 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 we'll do what we can. But maybe if you can reclaim some of what you lost, it will help. I'd do anything to get it back a normal life. Yeah, well. Can you imagine if we'd grown up here? Been nobility? Had grandparents who taught me all these new silk dresses and gave you the family broadsword? Nah, oh, I like well, daggers. Yeah. Well, we're home now. We are going to make this our home, Bethany. I promise you. I hope so, brother. I'm so very tired of running. Yeah, I understand that feeling. Cutscene after cutscene. Found an old chest. I think this is Mother's betrothal portrait from when she was supposed to marry the Comte. Look, you can see the ring. I suppose it would have been a bit awkward to take it with her. I know she loved Father. I guess, I just wondered if she'd have been happier if he hadn't been a mage. If I wasn't a mage. I know that made it hard for Mother. Nice to have a reminder of a time when she still knew how to smile. Yeah. Okay. I don't think we have anything on the writing desk, do we? Um, Bone Pit. Hawk, if you're looking for some work, there's a rich merchant in Hightown who's got trouble with his mining operation. If you haven't heard of the Bone Pit, uh, the locals say it's cursed. I don't put too much stock in it, but I had to turn on the job because of marchers and my crew making the rest superstitious. Go speak with Hubert Bartier in the Hightown Market if you're interested. I have to figure out how to pronounce some of these things. I'm not going to do the Bone Pit. Got a few other quests to do. So we're going to start by hitting the docks at night. Then I'll go after companions. Oh, we will. Come on. Got a few level ups here to do. So I can't believe they would do it like right here. That's the Canary compound. But then again, the Canary probably don't give a crap. I will clear the docks and butts as I can.
before I hit the Flint Company. I'm going to stay in Kirkwall as long as possible. And loot as much as I can too while I'm here. Still need money. You know, their knees must be run from jumping up some, from jumping down from someplace that high. I mean, admittedly, the windows aren't that high up, though. So. They might just, just have good padding in their shoes, I would imagine. Disused passage takes us. I'm taking this disused. The tongue not working today. Oh, it's quartery. Good, we can take everything. Including, oh, you got a dull shift, huh? Don't mind me, I'm just here to loot bodies. Hello, Bonnie Lamb. Done. 
Makes this place a little easier to get through for the people that live down here. Hello, Bonnie Lamb. Got anything? Uh, da, da, da. I think I want, I should say. Almost halfway there. Can't just jump off these. Well then, we took this disused passage. There we go. Back up through Lowtown. Whether or not, you know. We still have to do. Oh, great, more. Totally not. Idiots, especially crowds in the heart of the streets just because it's dark. Seeing if there's any loot, because I can sell loot. And here I am just trying to get to the hanged man. Here we go. On to another adventure. Okay. Can lead us to the right place once we're down there, but we need a good entrance. 
Do we have any kind of entrance? Uh, can be sure with that. The wardens don't just fight Darkspawn. They forge into the deep roads all the time. And if he doesn't know, he might be able to point us to those who do. Okay, and what if he knows nothing? None at the moment. Bardsman's had an entrance lined up, but it was a bust. I'll keep looking, but if we don't find something, a fancy expedition, nowhere to go. Okay, but wardens. Loading. Don't you crash on me. Don't you crash on me. Oh, I got an auto save. I should have an auto save. It says loading. I mean, at least it's doing something, right? I'm just, I'm just gonna wait. I wish I could edit this armor. Get rid of the lyrium tattoos. Okay. Yeah, good point. Okay. The docks. Let's go back up to Low Town. I don't make my guards fight gangs in dark corners, but if you'd like to help. And there we go. Took care of these guys. Nice and smooth. Might as well go up to Hightown too while we're at it. And then I'm going to head out to... Um, So I take care of these guys. I'll go do Aveline's quest.
Well, we're quite a bit of love, uh, leveling up to do, aren't I? Don't worry, when I can get Sebastian, I'm going to take him to the Rose. Might be good for him. I, I figured you might as well clear out High Town here. Deal with any uh, issues. Please, all this stone. That can't be good. Will somebody let me at least have one? I just want one kill. we go to care some some of the criminal criminal criminals I am having mouth issues today I am not speaking good okay No, the chantry should be for the people and not just, you know, stuck up in high town. Okay. And there we go. We're going to go do Aveline's little quests next.
Okay. Then we'll come back to the Wounded Coast. Just gonna wait here for the pop, for, for uh for crypto to respawn. Or be able to be respawned. Because honestly, crypto needs to come out here. Probably. Bianca's a cool crossbow. Okay. I don't think they're going to listen. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to hit him where it hurts. All the crafting materials. Nobody hurts my dog. Out of curiosity, what were we looking at? Yeah, still getting there.
see them. That's good. Captain Jevon needs to know of this. Back to the barracks for your just reward. Ha! Come on, look at the bodies first. I mean, I need to make money somehow to get us out of poverty. And by killing bandits, that's one way to do it. Okay, back to Kirkwall. We're just going to focus on one quest lane at a time, other than the duty one, which is, um, you know, not a problem. Okay. I don't know how they do it where you're from, guard woman, but I decide the patrols, not you and your whim. You may have been put up for lieutenant in your first year, but I'll have no show off in my command. Have I made myself clear? Report to your post before I have you and your Ferelden accomplice in jail. That didn't go well. So I guess not get paid. This is probably a bad time to discuss my bill with him. He'll jail you. I don't doubt that. The rest, though. Well, the duty roster will have my next patrol. Sounds like I'll have plenty of time to follow you around. But to my friend, not to have enough time by myself. Aveline! I owe you for clearing that ambush the other night. Made me a mess of trouble. Brennan, that route was yours. It was. Single patrol. I'd have been dead for sure. What? A lone guard isn't much of a patrol. Wouldn't need to be. That route was clear for weeks. The cross noise out of it was your big fight. The captain reassigned me after he heard what you did, and I passed the satchel to Donick for his patrol tonight. The satchel? Pay and order assignment. The captain has us run deliveries to the outpost during light duty. It's usually just an updated copy of the roster. The satchel for that night was heavy, though. Anyway, thanks again, Aveline. You're a good one. Now, at least somebody appreciates us. The same day we discover an ambush. That sounds like a setup. I bet there's a perfectly reasonable lie that explains why your captain arranged this. I'd be willing to hear it, but not while a guard may be walking into a trap. Brennan said Donick, a good man. Um, anyway, I've got his route. A nice walk in Lowtown. Let's go make sure his quiet patrol stays that way. Yes, let's. But I want to kick the wall. They won't let me kick the wall. I 
I want to kick the wall. Why won't you let me kick the wall? Huh? 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 I want to kick the wall. I don't want to kick the wall. I'm going to kick the wall if I want to. Ah. Ah, look at that smile. I mean, uh, I was on patrol and they came out of nowhere. I think somebody's got a crush. Too many at once. The captain somebody's got a crush. The was supposed to be quiet. Defeated the Viscount. Office details. If you count. Valuable to a guild of thieves. A sacrificial delivery with one of our own. I'll just take all that. Let's see if there's any more ass to kick before we do anything, though, okay? I, I just want to kick ass. Kick some serious butt. I mean, that's what I do. I kick serious butt. Let's go to the alienage. Yeah, you will. A very angry pig. Very angry. More like a wild boar. The kind you need an AR-15 to protect yourself against. The Enigma of Kirkwall. You know, I should look up this quest. In the back alleys of Lowtown, you can find some extraordinary things. Priceless tomes of knowledge can be bought with a handful of gold. The chant of Archon Levias. The old chapter of the Midnight Compendium. Some of these books were thought to be lost forever. And these are no forgeries. I verified their authenticity myself. 
Fences have no inkling that what they're selling has value. Where did these books come from? After fail, several failed attempts, I got my answer underneath the city. There's a hive of hidden passages in Kirkwall sewers. Now and then a lucky sewer rack comes across an unlooted chamber, and then a cache of ancient Dementor relics spreads through the black market. We must search below the city. Underneath the cobblestone with curious markings, faintly glowing, it is signed, The Band of Three. I need to have a mysterious voice for that. Okay, back to High Town. Yeah, I bet. But you, Avalon Valen, have proven your loyalty and devotion. The gods deserve better than him, Mistral. Indeed. The Viscount would have you put your care for the men in direct practice. You will assume the captain's job. In war? Yep. In due time, of course. There will be training, approvals, months at least. But who better to rebuild respect? Than the woman who exposed this embarrassment. Resolve any outstanding business, Dark Woman. You will be very busy. Looks like somebody got a promotion. Don't mess with her, Varric. She'll kick your butt. Big changes are coming, huh? Captain of the Guard. Thank you, Wesley. That you keep his memory speaks well of him. He's not listening. I know that. Wesley's at the Maker's side, or he's not. Either way, he knows no pain. He seemed a good man for a Templar. I'm sure he's found peace. What I keep is that moment. I won't let anyone down like that again. So... At the Maker's side, or he's not. What do you mean by that? Wesley believes. And if he was correct, then that's where he is. But... This business of... The less the Maker does, the more he's proven. I don't find it... Ah, she's agnostic. Wesley. But in my heart, that cut was cruel. You 
already missed Wesley, but that's not the issue. Of course I miss him, but he's not coming back. Pining like a child serves no one. Good point. So I remember him, but I let him rest. You're not so kind to yourself, though. No. So I got the captain in my pocket, huh? Well, good work. I look forward to working with you, Guard Captain Everly. Feels strange, isn't it? Captain of the Guard. Thank you for helping me get here, Hawk. Where I should be. I'll be kind when I need to be and funny when I'm not. When I can be, but I'm not going to be mean. Okay, I got a letter waiting for me at home. Someone will take care of that. Okay. Well, don't worry. We're good. Oh, sorry. Loose ends. Hawk, I take it back. Everything I said about your blighted family. Or sorry, I take back everything I said about your blighted family. You were right. You were the best we ever had. If you're looking for honest work and good coin, come see me in Lowtown. I can keep you busy for a while. And Mirren. Huck, a dwarf named Anso contacted the Red Iron looking for contract work. Work. Wish I could take him up on it, but we present business, so I recommended you. The dwarf pays well, so don't be a fool and miss out. Look for Anso in the Low Town Bazaar at night if you're interested. Mirren. So I got some work. Okay. So, for Lady Sunshine, what's your first act as a noble woman going to be? <laughs> a noble woman with no fortune and no face. Looking for work, probably. Drop the Chaldean for peasants, Milady. You need to do something frivolous to celebrate your birthright. Such as? Come up here on high county market and complain bitterly that there's no oil. What if something does match my eyes? What will I do then? Insist that they're blatantly copied and demand royalties. A good noble always has a complaint, Lady Sunshine. Yeah, they tend to. Everything must be it. No, not it's still not interested. You know, I'm gonna come over here. Okay, first of all, let me sell all junk. Then I know I got some stuff I can sell.
Okay, we're getting there. I guess if you come back here during night. Because there's two quests over here, so I want to see what we got. And so, Are you ah, sweet mother of Mike. You can't just run up on someone like that. Yes, I can. Are you the one that mercenary told me about? The one looking for work? And expect somebody else? Did you think I was going to attack you? Oh, no, no. Uh, all right. Hope not. Anyhow. No intention of. I'm an elf. Kind of property. What did these men steal? <laughs> did I say steal? I don't know if I would go that far. They seemed like perfectly reasonable smugglers. They smiled and everything. The goods are valuable, however, and illegal. And my client wants them very, very badly. <laughs> you know how these Templars can be. Larium, huh? Like mother insisted. Well, better be worth it. Make it worth my time and I'll help you. Oh, I will. Or I'll try to. The gentlemen conduct their business at night in a little hovel within the alienage. If you have to kill them, then I guess it can't be avoided. But I'm sure they'll be reasonable. Probably not. So I want to take care of more of these guys. Ho ho ho! Directions to the sharp base. We got a new base and you lot best keep the law away. Directions to the low town to sneak below. But don't come unless you get good news so they get an answer square between the eyes. Let's get to the alienage.
Watch out for the crazed elf. Definitely. More level ups. I'm going to level up later. Close to the end of the stream. Okay, off to the alien edge. I got stuff to do. Hi. I'll be with you soon. There we go. Just want to... Looks just like Gamlin's house. Just a little messier. Oh, yeah. Mirren did. Gotta kill Mirren. That's not the elf. Who is that? An elf. We were told to kill whoever entered the house. Where are Well then. Of course there is. There's always more. I'll take you. Take whatever loot you guys have. And do a quick save. I don't know who you are, friend, but you made a serious mistake coming here. I'm taking my neighborhood, man. Oh, good. More people to fight. Captain. Your men are dead, and your trap has failed. I 
send back to your master while you can. You're going nowhere, slave. Okay, I'm in love. Hi. No, we, we we got this. Don't worry, we do this sort of thing often. Impressive. My name is Fenris. These men were imperial bounty hunters seeking to locate Her Majesty's lost property, namely myself. They were trying to lure me into the open. Crude as their methods were, I could not face them alone. Thankfully, and so chose wisely. So escape slave. Uh, you just ripped somebody's heart out, so. Does this have something to do with those masters? Yes. I imagine I must look strange to you. No, kind of hot. I did not receive these markings by choice. Even so, they have served me well. You can't hot. Without no. them, I would still be a slave. So, don't worry about this. If they were really trying to recapture you, then I'm happy I helped. I have met few in my travels who have sought anything more than personal gain. Nah, big fan of slavers. You may ask, what was in the chest? The one they kept in the house? It was empty. I suppose it was too much to hope for. Even so, I had to know. So, what was in it? You were expecting something else? I was, but I shouldn't have. It was bait, nothing more. So... He's in the body now. It's as I thought. My former master accompanied him to the city. I know you have questions, but I must confront him before he flees. I will need your help. Lead the way. If it means fighting more slavers, I'll help you. I will find a way to repay you. I swear it. The Magister is staying at a mansion in Hightown. Meet me there as soon as you can. We must enter before morning. Yeah, we're taking on slavers. No offense, as somebody who tends to play elves, I hate slavers. Not a really big fan of slavers. Just saying. Mirren? What's up? Uh, dude, I got your letter. You had an offer for me. You mean you're not too good for my kind of work? Because the blokes I hired after you couldn't find their ass with both hands. I sent them to take out Lord Harriman while he was preparing his cargo for shipping. Night time, dock, simple. Never came back. So, the target. And I do not say this isn't personal. Job paid for second hand by some other old Kirk Wall family. The nobles here like to shank each other for sport. We're just their knives. Sorry, Evelyn. Got it. Well, we're not taking any nobles right now. I got other stuff I have to do. Like kill a, bu a bunch of slavers. I have no problem killing slavers. No problem killing slavers at all.
Then we'll get your boy Gustav alive. I know exactly where I'm going. This way. No one has left the mansion, but I've heard nothing within. Demarius may know we're here. I wouldn't put it past him. So I could stand to know a little more about this Demarius. He is a magister of the Tevinterim period. Oh, is that all? Nothing to worry about then. There, he is a wealthy mage with great influence. Here, he is but a man. Like any other when death comes for him. Helen. What's the worst that could happen? I do not fear death. That does not mean we should be reckless. Okay, sorry, Aveline. But I'm going to take Fenris with me this time. And I am not afraid of you, Denarius. I don't like the looks of this. Okay, we're going to save. Oh, great. Demons. That's what we wanted. Demons. No, they can't. Take everything we can. Loot everything we can. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, here we go. Now at least we get some loot. Maybe not a lot of loot, but still some loot. And I'll take what I can get. Oh, come on. Pressing his key to a shade. But at least now we can get him. Get him someday. Assume Daenerys left valuables behind. Take them if you wish. I need some air. Okay, I'll be here. Hi, Crypto. Not been very helpful in this fight, you know that.
the way I came in. Okay, let's talk to Fenris. Eric's a dwarf. I saw you casting spells inside. I should have realized sooner what you really were. You harbor a viper in your midst. It will turn on you and strike when you least expect. That is in its nature. Dude, that's my sister. My sister is stronger than you think. You tell him, brother. I'm not lying. I know magic has its uses, and there are undoubtedly mages with good intentions. Yeah, don't go after my sister. Best intentioned mage can fall prey to temptation. And then their power is a curse to inflict upon others. No one's stopping you from moving on, you know. I imagine I appear ungrateful. If so, I apologize, for nothing could be further from the truth. Good. I did not find Daenerys, but I still owe you a debt. Here is all the coin I have, as Anso promised. Should you find yourself in need of assistance, So, you'd work with my sister? Are you going to have a problem with my companion? Mainly my sister. I will watch them carefully if we travel together. I can promise no more. Well, first off, uh, tell me about him. You said Daenerys was a magister, but little else. In Tevinter, the magisters hold all the power. Over the Chowtree, over the Imperial Court, over life itself. It is nothing for one to own a slave. But you escaped. Then how did you get away? Is it not enough that I did? I carved my path to freedom in blood. I left that life behind. Yet his bounty hunters follow me no matter where I go. I will run no longer. So I'm guessing master must want something more than just a runaway slave. He doesn't want me at all, just the markings on my skin. They are lyrium, burned into my flesh to provide the power that Daenerys required of his pet. Now, he wishes his precious investment returned, even if he must rip it from my corpse. Nah, that'd be a shame. Seems like a waste of a perfectly handsome elf. <laughs> I had to flirt. I have to. Nothing of the ritual that placed these markings on me. It was Daenerys' choice, one he now regrets. And think what they can return? Well, then we'll take you. Okay, I'll see some more companions here in a minute. Looks like it's still nice, so that's good. Weather's been lousy recently. These pretenders, I can usually take it down in my sleep. Man, High Town is getting messy. We'll take these thugs out.
We have Fenris's people sometime. Okay. Let's go. Deal with some loose ends. I'll like take Fenris with me instead of Evelyn, though, because I may be committing murder. And she's the guard captain, so. Let me grab Fenris. Yeah, you can tell him yourself. I'm not going back until you can walk, limp, or crawl behind me. I, I think I can walk. We got it before Highland's men could do much damage. His rear guard saw us coming. They fell on us from all sides. Which any professional would have expected. That's him. That's Lord Harriman. Most of my enemies would not stoop this low. Are you working for Conrad too? Perhaps Lady Reinhardt? And... What have you done that so many people want you dead? You sound so relevant. Now, I'm our legion. I'm the one who convinced the Viscount to send aid to Denerim. Many of my fellow noblemen resent that. They want me dead before he sends the money so they can reclaim it for curse wall. Will you kill me for this? No, but you better run. This is not a job I can complete. My people need help. When I learn who sent you, I will be sure to leave you out of any retribution. I don't want to be the one to tell Mary you did that. I will. I mean, honestly, it's for Eldens. As if I'm gonna turn on the person who sent aid to Ferelden. No? Oh, great, Carta. I'm an elf. Stand down. He's not our foe. What was that about? Assassin. The boat for Ravain is within sight, but the Carta would see me dead before I get there. How would you like to make some coin? 
So, white card after you. So you're Lord. I've never seen the Dwarven Lord. We still have him. If you're looking at him in daylight, he's not a Lord anymore. I'm Renville Harriman, the last of my house. My family was once revered in Orzammar. Now I'm nothing but a servicer on the run. Nah, help. I'll clear the way for you, Harriman. Dispatch these ruffians and I'll pay you what I can now. And by the ancestors, I will reward you proper when I am safe. What is your name? Good name. I will remember it. The Carta has several groups lying in wait for you. Take the battle to them. Me will. Let's go deal with some Carta. Harriman spoke to you, didn't he? Yeah. Whatever reward he offers, we'll offer you more to kill him. Nah. People just walking right through chaos, and carnage, and blood. I'll talk to Mirren. Hey, stay away from my elf. No, you're not going to fuck... Not going to find any Ferelden's on board. Now we fight. Okay, come on. Oh, more. You know what? I need a dog with me. My dog loves car to meat. Feed him dwarf all the time. You know, this one's a family affair. I gotta get some coconut oil in their food. I gotta remember to put that in there tonight. When I feed them. I think they gotta get some dry skin right now. Oh no. I think crypto's like I I need to go out. So I'll take a bit of a break here in a second. I'm just gonna sell off some loot.
I am halfway there. I'm going to keep that for now. Okay, time to go back to Lord Haramont. Go talk to Lord Haramont. You too, Lord Haramont. Okay, I'm going to get back to the house. And I will take a break. I don't know if I'm going to play too much longer, though, so. No letters. I'm still just going to go into safe storage, though. Okay, I'm going to take a bit brief break. I will be back in a little bit. See you on the flip side. Okay, I'm back. I had to feed dogs. So, um, I thought I'd try to get myself some food too. So, I'm back with dinner. And by dinner, I mean some um, reheated pizza from the other night. I'm being a sarcastic hawk. Actually, out of curiosity, I don't look like there's anything over here. Or anything over here, really. Just uh, the eternal void. Anything behind here? Nope. It's hit the void. 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 Not even a proper chimney. What?
There we go. Well, I'm heading back out then. Okay. What was I doing? I'm going to go after Meryl, I think. Do, 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 do Flemeth's thing. I'm not sure about Fenris. Oh well. Oh, yes. Took care of the dogs. Made some food. So I am good. Ooh, elf root by the elves. Hi. I'm not doing that. I get that a lot. I'm not expecting tea and cakes. I just need to see someone. There's nothing here of any Hey, I'm one of you guys. Look at my ears. This is the one the keeper spoke of. <clears throat> I am an elf. I am an elf. Maritara, I was told to bring you this amulet. Sorry about the crunching. Indeed, I am Keeper Maritari. Let me look at you. I think you see we're elves. And a dwarf. I'm not a human. I'm an elf. First off, um, actually, a dragon fell from the sky, charged some dark spawn, then asked me to bring you this amulet. It's no big deal. You are blessed by luck, then. I will pray that Mithal watches over your No, she totally didn't. You guys just came in. She will see to it the ritual is done. And when it is complete, I must I think they need me again. So who are you sending? Who is your first? The first of what? Your people would call her my friend or heir. Never would have taken my place as keeper. But she has chosen a new path. Please, guide her safely from here. I'll be right back. Uh, looks like the dogs need me again. I uh, Sorry I didn't mute. Little puppy ninjas back there. Hmm.
Okay. Here you go, Ab. Okay, I'm not going to read. I'm going to try to get this done. Taras. Probably quite a few. Hi. Trying to get you. Mm. Master Island. Hello, Master Island. Tell me about your trade. Well, thank you. I'm seeing if there's anything I can use. Nope. That's true. That is a good idea. She's definitely been a cop too long. Seeing if there's anything to kill over here. I'm going to do this quest and then I think I'll be calling it for the night. Do I look like I'm a human? The, on, the only human we have is Aveline. Um. So what was that thing? Did you hear that strange noise? Oh, of course you didn't. Why would you? So what's the matter? But I'm not human, I'm an elf like you. Well, don't be nervous around us. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, at least we survived. I miss the cold and the dirt. You know, all soft brown stuff for me. But hey, no dark spots. Surrounding wasn't that brown. The dirt is that specific character. We should go. The attack is for academic. Not by the 
So, have you met her? So I take it you've been expecting me to bring this amulet for some time. The keeper brought it here to witness the incident. I don't know much more than that. I do know that you have asked for an arm, and we must bring it to the altar on the mountaintop. Enough to tell you. So do you know anything about this? Well then, I guess I'm ready to go. At least we got a Bari on our side. That's not dark. Does the Chantry know about the Danish mages? Oh, Danish. Keeper Marathari told me that was one of the reasons we never camped for too long in one place. They usually have pursuers if they stay away from the cities and towns of the Queen. And no one likes having to dig up a name for a villa that doesn't protect the people. Why would they mind? Once they've picked over a hunting ground, they know me from Harrow. My clan is now in the old days. Well, nice work. Well, they were already dead, Aveline. I should be saving frequently here. I like when I can do some damage. Oh yeah, so am I. So...
or we take this. Okay, into the Thunder Mount Passage. Oh, they seem really friendly. But the Danish are delightful. I was just thinking of inviting the whole clan over for tea. I'm sure they'd never accept an abuse. Oh, like sarcasm. Yep. Even if my people don't appreciate my effort, I must see this through. Let's go. Asha Belana is known for her patience. So I'm trying to eat some food too. Okay, we'll wait here until my dog's ready to spawn. I wish it was like an instant. He needs belly rubs. Spiders. No, I still don't like spiders. I do not like video game spiders. Okay. Yeah, if, in case you were wondering about the sun, like dog throwing up, um, they've been kind of scrunching up weeds and bugs, even though they do get plenty of food. I think they're just exploring the world with their teeth. And, well... If I can't control... Can't watch them both at the same time, unfortunately. I do watch them. But I can't seem to get it at the same time. No, I could use some help against these spiders. I could use some help against these spiders. Thank you, Bethany. Okay. And after this, I'll take a break. Oh, great, now shades. Oh, 
Okay, I think we got him. Okay. Now up to Thunder Mount. Whoa. Just notice I must have turned the virtual camera on. Okay. That airship. You call something here. Do you even understand? Yes, it was lead magic, but I know what I'm doing. The spirit helped us, didn't it? Uh, they don't always keep helping. Sure. Okay, safe. Oh, yes, I do. After I get the loot. After I get the loot. Gotta loot the loot. Gotta get all the loot. Gotta loot the bodies. Under the sun. I know only a little. That's 
Oh, well, honestly. No one wanted to buy it. Maybe because it had a witch inside. Just a bit. A small bit. But it was all I needed. A bit of security should the inevitable occur. And if I know my worth, it already has. Who? Yes. So, why don't you come yourself? So, what now? That's nice for you to say. Nah. Listen to her advice, Meryl. Well then. That was uh, something. Oh, is that a trillion? I love trillions. Beautiful flowers. They smell a bit like garbage, but it's fun. We have trilliums up here. Protected. <clears throat> Can't pick them. But they are a beautiful flower. You know, I'm going to go up the mountain a little bit. I'm going to. I shouldn't, but I'm going to. So dramatic. So a lot of people will take um, Flemeth's words as if they're saying what, you know, um, Hawks Roll in Inquisition. You know, whether or not to leave him in the Fade, because the quest is called Here Lies the Abyss. But I think the abyss that she refers to is literally the chaos in Kirkwall. That's part of the later game. That's my thought, at least. Uh, 
Okay, and... Okay. Okay. We can't go that way then. Back down the hill. And by hill, I mean technically probably a mountain. You know, you could stay and, you know, walk the path with your eyes open for once. Is this really the reality? Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, I think it is as an adventure. Working your way up will be fun. All right, that was a blast. It won't be fun. Some adventure I am. Fairly set out in it. Already dawn, kid. Thank you for everything. For all your help. Will you come visit me? Not now, of course. But maybe later. I could use a friend. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll come visit. Okay. Get these quests. So, whoops, wrong button. I have done all I can to protect him. I am Ariane. My boy is failing me. Whoopsie, wrong button. When I learned he had magic, I could not bear to send him to the Vulcan. But his connection to the Fae, it gives him nightmares, dreams of demons lurking in his lair. I would rather leave him to the Sacrum than kill him. So, do you know where he is? Did your son run away? He learned I had contact with Sinclair. He felt I 
crazy. You think you can live free with your circle? Man, we're crazy without proper training. We're killing each other. So, notice the Valaceline. 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 I was born to the village. It came to Cosmos for a time when Dali was a human merchant, then Chenta. When I found out it was a child, neither his Chenta nor my tribe wished the burden of an elf blooded human to take. I raised Tolia myself, here in the alien. So, what happened? Um Well we'll see. No, please, you must find them before before the demons finish them. I'll find them. Of course I'll help, I'm just being I'll bring your son back to safety, I promise. If I can. I don't know where Fainrail is from, but there are two places you might start your search. Sotrask has my missing son. If you speak to him in the gallows, he'll be able to tell you what ground he's already covered. And Fainrail's father, Vincenzo, recently returned from Antigua. He's a merchant in the Low Town Bazaar. Fainrail might have sold him off. So tell me about your husband. You Here, man. Mm. No desire for a wife or an elf blooded child. I haven't seen him since the day I told you. I have written, though, to keep him informed about this child. Ainriel wanted to meet him. And the Strask? I believe he's a good man. He doesn't hate Maisie. But sees what it took me too long to realize. Even the best intentioned neighbors are at the mercy of their sleeping man. There are other Templar who I must bless with trust. Well, I'll see what I can do. I will not leave you fearful for a moment longer than necessary. <laughs> it can be a fearful job. Your son deserves the best aid learning how to manage it. My husband Wesley was a Templar. They're not all Samaritans to this world. Thank you. It has been a lonely time. Many of them are, though. Okay. Oh, and that would be him and that. So. <sighs> This is where I am going to save it for the now. I'm going to call it for the night. Um, I'll be back tomorrow probably with more Dragon Age 2. So until then, I will see you on the flip side. Bye. <laughs>